Is there a country that has been built by high taxation? Just be open. Is there a country that has been built by high taxation? I think that high taxation mm. increased the high rate of unemployment. The betting, mm. the guy has affected the betting industry. Mm. How can you increase the rate of betting industry from 20 million to 200 million? Do you think that you are chasing away the investors? Just the same way, just the same way alcohol is highly taxed and soda mm. because alcohol is addictive. Yes, there are bars that are opened there that, mm. that have people who are selling and are employed there, but it has to be highly taxed to discourage people from doing these things. So no, the, no, the, no, the no, public no, no, has no. to be discouraged no. to some extent. Why are you discouraging them yet he has created employment to people? It is not good. It is very unfair. Betting is taking more than it's giving. That is, that is why betting is in business. Uh, something else is, um, yes, the betting industry has been taxed. But yeah. we know one thing is that betting is addictive. That is one. Uh, no, betting. but it has created employment. When you're talking about, because what is affecting youth up outside here is yeah. unemployment. Yes. Do you think that Ruto has plan with the youths? Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. On our today's story, we want to, talk, to discuss about how the president mm -hmm. and Angamiza, the common Mwanainchi, mm -hmm. the president that we loved so much, mm -hmm. is the president Mwenye Sisa Anajaribu Kutuweka Chini. We as the public. Mm -hmm. Today, we have mm -hmm. a strong UDA member, mm -hmm. Tumemleta Apa, mm -hmm. fan of UDA at mm -hmm. What is the problem? What is their plan? Na mm. Kenya. Mm. Sai unaona amechukua opposition yote ameweka kwa mfuko. We don't have a po opposition right now. We don't have an opposition. Alitoka US. No one is questioning mm. the president. Mm. Amekuja na nini? The mm. plan yenye anataka kufanya. Amenyamazia mm. hiyo do. Sijua na plan aje. <laughs> okay, tuambie bwana wewe mtu wa UDA. <laughs> well, the president the president went to the US yes. and uh, really came up with more came out with more than he went with. What wanna say my old legs Ndege to me a doki bow because the former president mm -hmm. to me a KQ. Unona. So say mona litumia ndege nyi litumika like fifteen years ago. But the former president an, imagine an African. An African. The former president Hajawai and Akwa and for a state visit. That no, was just bana. a visit. When you yeah. well, why did Unajua, the president alienda kwa state visit by the whole family? Ukienda ukienda state visit, mm. first of all, the Ilen US. US is really, really um, mindful about family values. So first of all, the president had to go with his family. Domana alienda na na first lady na kenda na the first family. Ato uliona wakishika na mikono everywhere they were going because of the values, family values that uh, US we na kuanga na ayo. And ayo neza kupeleka njima baka wakati um, anaitua um, this president uh, mesao before Bush. Mm -hmm. Kulikuwa na president flani uh, alikuwa alipatika na scandal your family mm. ali, ali cheat i think alikuwa mesao mbona mesao so after a cheat that made him lose elections mm. so family values are very important that is why lipata our president went with the first lady so coming now first lady edi watoto mbaka watoto shalini ndio akwenda yeah only one so mbaka mwenye ametoka nigeria alikuja mbaka akaenda na us why are so, you guys using public fund so, so is it good to me a public fund, mnaenda nayo inje, mnaenda kujibamba. Wanasema, if, if the returns are more, no, that, is, that investment is worth it. That is not business. As a president, that is not, that is not how you are supposed to do business. Remember 200 during million. during the Kibaki era. Not mm. 200, 200 was only for uh, aeroplane. Mm. Our to water when you are lienda now. Do you think it will cost how much? Okay, <laughs> vile lienda, vile lienda, kufika huko ni US iliketa. Because you're in a state visit, the host will cater for that. So, see, to little me to play. Let, let, let me ask you me. something. Yeah. Yes, the state will cater for that. Yes. President Alienda, na how many people? What wangapi? Alienda, na to. I'm not. I don't no, have the no, figures. No, 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 no. I have the figures. Yes. But then, if you don't know, yeah. Alienda with like uh, seventy-two people. Close. I think it was seventy-two. Yes. Yeah. It was seventy-two, seventy. People. Kuna ju, among these people, no, no. first, kuna family. Yeah. Alafu kuna kuna delegation. Wale ministers wataenda. Then kuna security people. Alafu kuna press. 
na kuna uh, parliamentarians lazima mm -hmm. opposition yende lazima government yende to show that democracy as well as security as well as uh, media people hiyo ni lazima waende so kulikuwa na watu oh, lazima waende sema lilipia tu media the media kata for themselves uh, labda the state's media <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. so 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 vile alienda i think what he came up came out with was more than what was invested so in kenya is being considered to be a major non nato ally a very close partner to the us in terms of security mm -hmm. uh, tutapata a lot of perks from being a major non nato ally training with uh, the us tutakuwa na av availability uh, heavy weaponry weaponry that we, we cannot access right now weaponry that the whole of sub sub saharan africa cannot access sasa si tutakuwa na access nayo will be a modern country and there is no modern country around the world that doesn't have sophisticated weapons to defend itself so these are the perks that we are going to get as well as alena kapata a lot of business deals from the us a lot of business deals that are going to be invested here in kenya coca cola nemu ata taylor perry alena kwa studios pale they will have a <laughs> <laughs> no just continue <laughs> they'll have a very good partnership with with the productions there so it's it's a raft of goodies that the president came with uh, from the us and this was one of a kind the last president kwenda us as a state visit mm. was 18 15 18 years ago african african yes yeah. african so this was a it was a major major deal that president came with Okay let's continue when you're talking about <laughs> president William Samoe Ruto the yes. guy is a, a Zakayo tax collector yeah. do you think that is there a country that has been built by high taxation just be open is there a country that has been built by high taxation i think that high taxation mm. increases the high rate of unemployment mm. if i'm not wrong when you tax so high you mm. increase the high rate of unemployment is there mm. any country mm. in the whole world mm. has been built by a high rate of taxation we cannot say that it is a higher rate it is high of taxation because, because the betting mm. the guy has affected the betting industry mm. how can you increase the rate of betting industry from 20 million to 200 million do you think that you are chasing away the investors one mm -hmm. is uh, I'll be honest. Mm. I have not heard of a country mm. that has been built no. through high taxation. Yes. But the taxation that we have here and as we say in economics, mm. we still have gaps in taxation that are being filled by the president. So and I fill these gaps so that we can have taxation as it should. So that means we are undertaxed mm -hmm. and we need to up our taxes to the level that we can able be able to manage. So we are not highly taxed. We are not uh, lowly tax we want it to be average and want to seal all the loopholes that are there in terms of taxation so that is what this government is trying to do uh, something else is um, yes the betting industry has been taxed but yeah. we know one thing is that betting is addictive that is one uh, no betting. but it has created employment don't say that it's addictive it has is, created is employment the, no, no. Is, is there someone that has forced them to bet it has created <laughs> A high rate of, it has created true. employment to so many people but when you say it's addictive <laughs> yes. that means that yeah that is why it has to be taxed. considering i'm, I'm considering people, eh? just why the same way just the same way alcohol is highly taxed and soda mm. because alcohol is addictive yes there are bars that are opened there that mm. that have people who are selling and are employed there but it has to be highly taxed to discourage people from doing these things so no, the, no, the, the no, public no, no, has no. to be discouraged no. to some extent why are you discouraging them yet you have created employment to people it is not good it is very unfair betting is taking more than it's giving that is that is why betting is in business i continue <laughs> that is why betting is in business yeah. because it is taking more than it's giving so it has to be regulated and these are the these are the regulations that has to have to be in play because you are taking more money then the government will have to be involved to also take their share because they are allowing you to come to their people and most of these betting companies are mm. not kenyan kenyan owned so you'll find that the government has to take a stake and make sure that uh, they remit some of their money to the government okay when you're talking about because what is affecting youth up outside here yeah. is unemployment yes do you think that ruto has plan with the youths do you think so 
that he has a, a plan with youth. I will agree with something here yeah. that might not be in the line of uh, supporting the government that much. Mm. We need to create more employment. We need to create more employment so that we can raise our taxes. Yeah, true. But then again, we have also to consider the fact that the government does not create jobs. The government only makes it uh, the environment ripe for jobs to be created. Yeah. So the government has to be that, uh, that oil that grease that makes things work better. So that means that the government has to be an in-between person to make sure that people have jobs. One thing is the government has the, the agenda, the main agenda of um, reducing hunger. We know that <clears throat> it has supplied enough uh, enough uh, fertilizers in the in the farms to make sure that we have more produce if you have more produce you can reduce hunger we have uh, the government has also the the plan to make sure that all uh, most young people have access to internet just yesterday the president was signing the last mile electricity that is in line also with the uh, internet coverage because you cannot have internet without electricity as well as the the other uh, plan that the government had was to make sure that the superhighway, the digital superhighway, <coughs> goes across the country to all major major towns and even the villages so that people can access jobs from the comfort of their homes. So the government, the, the, the role of the government is to make it cheaper for you to do business. If you are a content creator, it makes it cheaper for you to create content. Then you earn money. So that is the role of the government. It will not come out and say that the ministry wants to employ this number of people. No, that is not how the government creates jobs. Okay, as we finish, do you think that President William Samoy Ruto working with the opposition, mm. is it good for Kenyans? It is like not. How you, no, mm. <laughs> like how you saw <laughs> yes. Kalonzo Musioka going to the going to State House, mm. Raila Amolo Odinga going to State House. Mm. Yet these are the people that you are competing with. Mm. Raila Amolo Odinga was the competitor of, Ray, of uh, William Ruto. Mm. Right now it's dining same table with yeah. the president. Mm. When you talk about Kalonzo Musioka, mm. dining in same table with president, mm. do you think that this will affect the country like what happened in our previous government? It was handshake. Mm. Handshake brought everything down. Do you think that this is going to change the country? Yes, it will affect because uh, we don't we don't want to be in a position where the opposition is in bed with the government. Yeah. We want our opposition to be vibrant, to be there, to be an advocate for the people of Kenya to see what the government is not doing well and come into play mm. to make sure that the government delivers. So. The, the opposition at no point should be in bed with the government yeah. it's for democracy to work. So it is not a good move for our leaders, both in the government and the opposition, to come together and collude. If they collude, then wale wana omie ni wananchi. Something else is that there is a need also for uh, leaders to have principles and to have, to, to have stands that you defend something what, in whatever you, that you might be offered, you reject it to support the Monainchi. Yeah, true. Yes. The only opposition leader who was fighting for Kenya is only Babu Owino, Edwin Sifuna, <laughs> yes. Tim Wanyonyi, others, and Salasia. The others, they are just sleeping. Yeah, the others. They are just dining for with president. Yeah. That's what I can say. Mm. Our leaders, just remember that 2027 is not far. Mm. Please, work for Kenyans that elected you. We are watching. We are mm. watch and you are on the radar. We mm. are watching and you are on Like our MP, Mm. Ronald Karauri, you are mm. going home. <laughs> That's what I can say. I'm here, Keith. We are sure as we finish. The last thing is, uh, I, I love the way Kenyans are usually very, very passionate about what is going on in the country. And that is the spirit that Kenyans should have always. Make sure that you don't stay silent. As Ali Bongo said, make noise. Until next time, game over. <laughs>